We're going out to Bison Creek right now. We've been instructed that there are a couple of bunkers apparently out in that area, which we're going to check out. These bunkers are is where we believe that these creatures hold up at nighttime or daytime where nobody uh, sees them. Nighttime, this is a complete playground for these things. During the day, they got a place to conceal themselves, to hide, and to feel that they're protected and no one will do any harm to them. This is two of three. The last of the bunkers on this side. Of Isaac Creek, that side of Isaac Creek. As you can see, this building that they had here is kind of dilapidated, but what do you expect after 60 years? The other one has three, three uh, walls still standing. This is not what we're looking for, although these are some of the remaining buildings that nobody can find. Get a picture of that over there, would you? A big, over that way, there's a big print. You got one here. Going in. And one right. And then here. Don't step over there. Yeah, don't Here's one right here. You can see it real good here. Then it comes right into it. It's a little wet spot. You can see the toes. This way, yeah, towards the water. Okay. Look at the stride on that puppy. Yeah, he took a big step. That is pretty darn big. Yeah, I told Tom, yeah, there's something paralleling me over here in the bushes, all the way up the road. We thought it was Tommy walking out this yeah. way, but Tommy was still up at that end. Yeah. And now we get over here and we see these fresh marks. If you look, where they've kicked up the the, uh, the leaf litter, it's still damp underneath. did our search with our ground penetrating radar and our white metal detector, right? And um, ground penetrating radar started giving some funny fluctuations. And um, we don't feel like digging 30 feet right now. So we're gonna come back into the GPS coordinates. Um, had Don come over, not Don. Mike. Mike come over with his, um, with the white metal detector. And he was actually getting the same fluctuations in the area that I had been getting them at. The double root sticking out. Yeah. That's a genetic throwback to Homo erectus. Is that right? Yeah. And then the extra thick jaw. Uh -huh. That's almost also Homo erectus. Heels would have been right in there. And your skull would have been right back here. It's too big for an Indian. Mm -hmm. It's not Asian. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got a uh, something dating back somewhere in the vicinity of 500 BC. Don't know exactly what it is right now, but uh, we take a jawbone and a vertebrae and some teeth. We're going to get it analyzed to find out exactly what we might have here. Tommy's down there brushing it down down there to see the possibilities, but it looks like somewhere in the vicinity. Uh, seven feet and over uh, <laughs> for something that's over uh, 
2,500 years old, it's a pretty significant find as far as I'm concerned. All right. So we'll we'll get it analyzed and find out exactly what what it's all about. The hip is four feet. Four feet. Oh, and you got a rib cage. And another three feet for the body legs. That's your seven feet. Yeah, it's so over seven feet. Over seven feet. You're the ones that have to say, hey, either it's out there or it isn't. All we're doing is bringing it to you as we've seen it. Now it's up to you. You either believe or you don't. And the legend carries on by the work that we've done all these years. Say it's, say, it's nice, nice, say it's not you. Don't miss it. World renowned Bigfoot researcher Tom Biscardi, founder of Searching for Bigfoot Incorporated will host a one-hour broadcast every Wednesday evening from 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Bigfoot Live. Tom will host a live broadcast from the field and studio. He will interview guest speakers and field calls from you, the listeners. Get the real deal reports about Bigfoot as they happen. Ask Tom and the team the questions you've always been wanting to ask. Call him. Talk to him. Live. Bigfoot Live. Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Bigfoot Live. This is Marco Bill. Friends, do you want to get the latest updates on Bigfoot? Well, just go to www.searchingforbigfoot.com and catch up with what's been happening with Tom Biscardi and his team during their expeditions. Read about the history of Bigfoot and some of the Bigfoot researchers of the past. View some of the artifacts and finds that Tom Biscardi and his team have collected during their expeditions. Take a look at their store and shop around. It's an adventure worth taking. Go to www.searchingforbigfoot.com today. That's www.searchingforbigfoot.com. All around the world they travel, searching distant lands. Trying to find the creature that walks up right like a man. Ivan was an old bear tracker. Tom was a man with dreams. Ernie came along and now wrote the songs about a creature that you've ever seen. Monsters, myths, and mysteries. Legends, tales, and facts. It brought them up.